But immediately Elisha, the man of God, would warn the king of Israel whenever the king of our, our man was coming against him. And you need to understand that no matter what may come against you, no matter what things you may have to face in your life, no matter what dots the enemy may throw towards you, God is going to warn you before they come. God is going to let you know what's coming down the pipe before it gets there. Where you are may be a surprise to you, but it's no surprise to God. God knew that on June 2nd, you would be sitting right here in Joe's Tabernacle saying, Lord, what am I going to do? God, how am I going to face tomorrow? I'm tired of crying all the way to work. I'm tired of not wanting to go home. God, I don't even want to be here. And God said, I knew it before you got here. And the Bible says that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every lying tongue shall be condemned. Oh, somebody needs to give God some praise. Somebody needs to give God some glory. Somebody needs to understand that you have already won the battle and the victory is yours. God said, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. And understand, you have been laying down for far too long because you didn't know the power that you have. Oh, but I've come to let you know that you've got power, you've got authority, and as long as you stand on the side of God, there is no demon in hell that can do anything with you. So immediately, Elisha would warn the man of God whenever the king of Aram came against them. And Elisha would say to the king, don't go here and don't go there. And I've come to let somebody know that God is saying to you, don't go back to where you came from. Don't go back to doing the stuff that you were doing before. Don't go back to hanging out on that corner. Don't go back to that house and have that argument that you are do brewing over right now. Don't go back to that job on tomorrow and do the same stuff that you've been doing. God is saying, don't go back, baby, don't go back. No matter what you do, don't go back. Because if you go back there, then the forces of, e of evil are coming against you. And the only way that you are going to survive this fight, the only way that you're going to make it through this war is to listen to what God is saying because God says I have the big picture and I know the plans that I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and the only way that you can deny the future that you have is to go back to where you have been God said if I delivered you from alcohol then don't you dare pick up a bottle when you go back home God said if I delivered you from shacking with that Negro don't you call him up on the phone again God said if I delivered you from a house of confusion if your son or daughter is doing that which is not pleasing to God put them Negroes out let them find somewhere else to go but as for me and my house I'm gonna serve the Lord for this is a house that shall serve the Lord God Almighty and for God 